Greetings, Unsettled Souls. Carrying on here with the massive Fukushima update. Now, I don't really have a way to know what order people watch these in. But I always wonder if it builds up towards the stupidity uh, the way it does since... Uh, the way I'd planned it ever since we've broken the show, I should say, into smaller segments. This was going to win. But I knew that if I let it win after the school backtracked, then everybody was going to be sending me mail and email saying, guess what? You were wrong. They backtracked. Okay. It was still a stupid idea. What was a stupid idea? California school, where else? As California school backtracks on making children eat lunch outside in the rain. How very white of you. Now, I guarantee that for COVID, for, for COVID, I guarantee that for COVID, the teachers weren't eating their lunches in the rain, and I guarantee they weren't thinking about eating their damn lunches in the rain either. Although in California, you may have had one or two that were maybe, maybe contemplating it. There's probably one or two teachers there that are lamenting that it didn't happen. Now, that would have been a good idea. We really blew a good chance there. Let me put the highlight on the screen. Listen, to, look at this. <coughs> oh my God, COVID, he coughed. A school in California has backtracked on making children eat their lunches outside in the rain to adhere to COVID restrictions. The next day, saying that the area will be covered and that pupils will be moved back inside after lunch. Oh, so, you know, we're going to go ahead and get some cover. Hopefully the rain won't blow. You know, hopefully not. You bring your food in a, in a, in a paper bag because we don't use plastic. And, you know, even though your paper doesn't hold up very well in the rain, it's good for the environment, Sam. So is a good meal or good for people. And you don't have a good meal if the rain hits your paper bag. You twit! Worst idea ever. How many people have noticed this? You order food and they leave it at your door because they're not allowed to come anywhere near you because everybody thinks everybody else is infected with a virus that kills well, point one of people that it infects. And... They leave your food there in a paper bag, and it's raining, but we can't use plastic, Sam. It's not good for the environment. California has some of the strictest COVID restrictions in the schools, according to Newsweek in the country. Being the first state to implement mask and vaccine mandates for staff and students aged 12 and above. Staff that are not vaccinated must undergo regular testing for the virus. Now, has anybody heard about the uh, tests being... I don't want to lead my audience here. Has anybody heard about the tests being dangerous in some way? If so, can you tell me what you've heard and can you give me any documentation to back it up? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something out here, but I don't want to lead my listeners. The Centers for Disease Control, it doesn't say prevention anymore, a guidance which applies in schools across the country also recommends that students socially distance whenever possible, especially in indoor spaces where the virus is more likely to spread. You notice how they're like, oh man, they might get it. They might get COVID. That's like saying, oh my God, they might, they might die. Have you seen the extremely low number of children who die from this. But Sam, they could give it to adults who have compromised immune systems who couldn't get vaccinated. Well, according to the CDC, you can get it even if you're vaccinated and spread it. People act like if you get this vaccine, you can't spread it. It doesn't make any damn sense. On Monday, gay... <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. On Monday, Gay Borgionum, the principal at Petwin Elementary School in Yolo County. <laughs> His name is Gay and he lives in Yolo County. Sent a notice to parents that students would be eating lunch outside and encouraged parents to pack spare clothes for their children. But don't do it in a plastic bag. It read, 
Rain is forecasted this week, which will present an added challenge to our lunch routines. Davis Joint Unified School District students are required to eat outside at this time due to COVID restrictions. I'm going to ask you to send your children to school with reindeer in war rain gear and warm jackets. You know, I, 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 you know, I've said this before. I've never been blessed to have children. Never, never met anybody who loved me enough to have them with me. But if I did, and you put my kid outside in the rain, that will be the last time that my kid comes to this school. Yeah, done. Done. But they said they put him in a warm jacket. It is California. Yeah, way to go, gay. Pat Wins announcing, imagine, prompted an angry response from parents on social media as well as activists. This exemplifies California's response with kids during the pandemic. Reopened California Schools founder Jonathan Zacharyson told Fox News, correctly I might add, the inhumane treatment of children continues from making all day even indoors to having, masking, excuse me, all day even indoors to having to sit on hot cement and now eating lunch in the rain. There's other comments there. You can find it in the Newsweek piece. Look at this. Yeah, that's good. That's the face of diversity. I see black kids getting mistreated. I see an Asian girl getting mistreated. I see white kids being mistreated. At least it's, at least it's equal. I mean, California is doing a very good job there. It does seem to be very, very equal in their mistreatment of the children. Friends, let me know what you think. This It's not even the dumbest story of the month. It was going to be, but they changed their mind. Hey, do me a favor. Don't forget, hit share, hit subscribe, and remember, you can donate at the correct views of Hotmail.com through PayPal.